about setting up research and I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough of my setup today and tell you a little bit about how I use it and all of the cool features so you can get started yourself. So I started working on this app a couple months ago because I wanted to make myself a better workflow around organizing and understanding papers. I tend to find most of my papers on places like Archive, friends send them to me on places like Twitter, and often they come to me as PDFs or links. So in this case, I have a category called sort that I've created, and this is where most new papers end up. I can just add a PDF, the AI will try to pass it and figure out what that paper is about. And once that's done, it'll add it here. Now you can choose to move this into a different category by right clicking on the card there. In this case, I'll just show you what it opens up to. So you get this PDF viewer that you can use to start reading the paper with. You'll see that the AI passed out things like title, year, authors, and sometimes some of these additional details as well. You can change things like the paper color to whatever you want. Um, and the important thing is that each item or each paper comes with its own notes panel. And this is, as it said, what you can use to take notes on the paper, but you can also have the AI write the notes for you. And this is really helpful if you find yourself collecting a lot of papers and you might not necessarily want to read all of them, but you want to get a quick idea of what's in them. In the past, you read the abstract. Sometimes, you know, these aren't written with understanding in mind and they're really heavy sometimes, especially if, you, if it's not your primary domain. So being able to have the AI generate something like a progressive summary is very helpful as a starting point. Um, and that's exactly what I do. I read the summary first and then I dive into the paper and I update the notes as I go along. As you can see, the notes panel also does have three tabs. The first one is for your notes. The second one is for your annotations. So let's say I want to dive a little bit deeper into this section on the abstract. I can just add an highlight. You'll see it pop up here and you can just ask the AI to explain it for you. And this is a quick and easy way to dive into specific portions of the paper and have things explained for you really quickly. The third tab is for chatting, and this is just general chat over the whole paper. So you can ask any question you want, really. In this case, I'm just going to ask for a TLDR, and the AI is going to provide that for me. That's really all there is to it when it comes to a paper and how you would go about reading it, annotating it, taking notes about it, and understanding it. Now, when you come to a larger category, like this CompSci category I've been collecting papers into over the last couple of months, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Uh, if you go into my recents, it'll show me my most recent papers. Research also has the ability to uh, track the time you're spending on papers. So in this case, I've read 45% of this paper and it's taken me about an hour. And you can even choose to list all of these items as rows if that is your preference. You can create categories for anything, really. I started off with one or two. I think my first category was CompSci, and then I just split things off into more categories as things came in. So my advice for most people is to just start with one category. They don't even need to be something like history or CompSci. They don't have to be a category per se. They can be something like friends. If you want to just collect papers that your friends send you, it can be related to a project. It doesn't really matter. It's really up to you how you want to set this up. And that's all there is to it for now.